The first couple days is just getting a plan together, like, you know, visualizing uh, what we want to make from a small picture pulled off the internet and then measuring and, and figuring out the size and the profile and then just start cutting metal and trying to, you know, stick it together and see what happens. Trying to hammer and get those shrink marks out so it's a little kind of smooth so we can sand it and not have that big on the edge of it. Getting those side rails made and getting an actual life-size, you know, paper doll of it sitting up on the bench so you can stand back and look at it and like, ooh, that looks like or that looks good, you know, that's important. This is the back of the seat and when we laid it out we found the center point. The center line is going to give me like a starting point to lay out any holes we put in here, any beads we roll. What I'm doing is uh, starting to lay out what we're gonna do as far as holes and beads in the back of the seat. Um, I'm just kind of quickly doing some things to try to get an idea if, if it's gonna work. And once I kind of dial it in a little bit as to uh, what I wanna do exactly, then I'll, I'll get more precise and lay it all out exactly where we're gonna put everything. These are going to be little shorties. Yeah, it's pretty little. Oh yeah, that looks better. Yeah. I guess we could, we could uh, make the holes. This is the size of the hole. So, it's not deep enough for that one. <clears throat> you know what I've done on stuff like that? Take it over and just fold this over. Pop the hole and then flatten it back out. That would be better than just drilling it? Ah, uh, well drilling sheet metal always sucks. Yeah. All you have to do is bend it 90. You don't have to, you know what I mean? Just, yeah, like. Yeah, and the metal has a it memory. Over. It'll go right back to where it was. That kind of seems insane to me. <laughs> What's that? That seems insane to me. But See, if you have a planishing hammer, you don't need to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. If I just use a drill, I wouldn't have to use a planishing hammer. Have you ever seen a dent in an old car and you pop it that's been there for I understand. Fifty years and it pops right out? It's just hard to put a dent it's hard to do that. No, it's not. Watch, I'll show you. Don't be scared. Figure out how much this you got. It's like a porn idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's once you learn, like, start learning hammer work, man, you like learn fast that you gotta, like, really screw stuff up to get it to. to and punch that. We'll straighten it out, I guess. We'll do your center one first, then we can measure the flat.
have the Awesome. Thank you. And then this will have like that edge on yeah, it. Yeah, so it'll be all right. We'd still be trying to find the right size drill bit. <laughs> I, I think it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love breaking things just to fix it. <laughs> I never really took the time before with employees or stuff at West Coast Choppers of a guy's a who was just like, you get the out and then next, you know? And I don't want to do the same cycle of things I did before, so I'm trying to like, be a better communicator, which makes me a better partner and boss and manager type of person, you know, and, and see the good in people and like help them to blossom to in flower their skills and personalities to the most it could possibly be. So, and also like helps myself, you know. 